Welcome back. Did you hear that? I thought I heard a zombie. <laughs> Sounds like a baby zombie, actually. Um, let's get my sword ready, because those guys are dangerous. He's got to be in here someplace, right? He's close. He's close. Oh, maybe back here. Yeah, he sounds really close. Oh, there he is. Ah. Go away. Ah. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, my key, my, uh, not my keyboard, my mouse buttons are not working. I have a mouse button, which I hit for one, you know, so pulls up my sword. None of my mouse buttons are working. Oh, I'm going to have to figure that out. Got that baby out of there. That's why I try and fill in all the little blanks. All the little blank spots should have, uh, dirt in them. I'll leave this all well lit. Maybe I won't have a problem with that again. Okay, let me figure out what's wrong with my mouse and then we can get on to uh, the rest of our day. Uh, much better. Yeah, I was on the wrong uh, profile. I have profiles for all my different games. So I had my Minecraft one was not active. This is the bathroom, so I just need to put in a new floor. I'm not going to put in a wooden floor in the bathroom. There. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. No, I'm not going to have enough. Uh, maybe I can stretch it. I do have white concrete powder. I may have to convert that into uh, just normal concrete. Is that still going to be too few? Well, that's good. I can do this. So we'll do a layout. So this is going to be where the toilet goes. So I don't need a uh, flooring under there. And then this corner is a shower. And then we'll have a sink over in this corner. Actually a double sink. So let me get some water. Where did my water go? Um, oh, I think. There, I knew it. Yeah, we have some water here. There we go. Now we got concrete. Just remind me I need to go get some water to put in my sinks but we'll hook up usually hook up the water after everything so like I said this is where the loo goes and actually even to save more in case I need them someplace else there's the toilet nice and white but we're going to go with pink so a nice kind of a pinkish looking bathroom. Door. Let's um let's do that. There we go. 
So that is, so that's the water closet. And then I was saying we have the shower. Like here. Actually, let's... There. Yeah, that looks good for a shower. Decided to make a huge, huge shower here. Because you know it's uh, always nice to have a nice big shower. So I can get it here and then I'll do like that. So that's good. And I wanted to. Kind of like the way that looks. Doesn't really do anything. It's just more of a modern flair to the thing. And then over here is we have a sink and the sink here. Like that. Then we'll put some cabinets up here. These are waxed already, so I don't need to hit them with the wax. So they should stay this color forever. There, lots of storage. We have our sinks, we have a shower for people to shower in, and then we have our toilet, and let's see. I'm gonna need a piece of paper for, I'm gonna need a piece of toilet paper in there. I need some water too to fill in my sinks. So I got some water. Fill up our sinks, and then I got a piece of, uh, Toilet paper. There we go. So I think the bathroom is complete. So this is going to be the bathroom for the upper floor here. I didn't make it gigantic because it's only going to have one person in here at a time. But I did want to make the shower. Always nice to have a big shower. So that's done. That room's done. We can close that door. Now I need to do this one. Remember, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this. I thought I was going to make it into part of the bathroom, but I believe I'm just going to make a bedroom out of this one. Like, yeah, so the bed can go over there, and then just a small room. doesn't need to be big. Maybe at some point it could be a nursery or something, but I'm not going to deck it out as a nursery. Maybe I'll put it as a little office. This could be a, a little office area. Maybe that, yeah, it might work. An upstairs office. I mean, we have the library downstairs. We don't really have an office room. So maybe this is the, uh, yeah, the office. Yeah, and if the bathroom wasn't in the way, I could connect it to the master. I have a huge master suite with their little connected office, but this will be fine. So I'll have an office here. And then we'll just, we did this. Oh yeah, we did this one. So I'm, I'm good there. So I guess upstairs will be the last thing we do today. More snow. So let's get inside where it's not snowing. I think up here, I notice I've still got torches sitting here. 
So what I'm gonna do is put in a chandelier over the over the stairs. So if I let's get my chain here. So we'll Oops, will that work? That won't work, will it? There we go. Maybe one more. I'm going to put that there. And then this here. There. I figure I have these new copper lights. I am going to use them. Now this will turn green. Because right now it kind of blends in with everything. I thought a nice... This, once it turns green with that green copper patina, I think it'll look nice up here. Give it a, a contrast in this hallway. Later on, I may throw a few plants or pictures in here, but I haven't, haven't decided yet. Well, let me get rid of that button. I don't need the button. So we have our office here. Well, I guess the first thing I need to do is close up this window. Since it's snowing, I don't want to get cold in here. Oops, that's not the right trap door. I need these dark oaks. So if I do... Oops, that's a pressure plate. Did I grab... Oh, I grabbed pressure plates instead of trap doors, didn't I? There's got to be... Here, trap doors. I knew they were in one of these boxes. Okay, and then that should keep me fine. Once I've got them all down, I, I think I've got all the windows closed now so the fox can't get out there. The fox was running around that ledge setting off all those trap doors last time. So as I was closing them I come back and they'd be open again because that silly fox was going through so let's see I have this 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 so for this where am I uh oh there we go actually I had a different plan I started out with one plan well speak of that let me hop onto a different plan okay <sighs> okay getting take a deep breath center myself and let's get ready so let's put i want to put in a light in the center of the room that's the first thing and the next we need a desk so for the desk i can do this and then on the sides i'm going to try i just found out that these signs can attach to a trapdoor i wonder Oh good, they stay there. I was wondering if they would go away if the trapdoor's gone. But I thought that would be good. And then the pressure plate. Can the pressure plate sit on top? No, 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 I don't want to do that. Can the pressure plate sit on top? Yes, a pressure plate will sit on top of the desk. So I can put in this. Um, that's not right. There, so that's our desk. Got the nice dark oak finish, little trim with the jungle, and this is kind of like the legs of the desk. Let's put a uh, seat here. Yeah, we're just uh, careful. Well, that's good. Okay, I was afraid I was, every time I walked by. I would set off the trap doors, but I don't. Okay, that worked out better than I thought. That was what I was afraid of, because I've had this before where every time I walk past, you know, and go click, click, it tra sets off trap doors, but nothing conducts through the sign, which makes sense. Okay, so we have this, and then Let's put a photo, no, not that big of a photo. Let's put a small photo here. And we'll put another 
small photo there. I have a just want to mount that on the wall. I'm not sure what that is. I mean, it's a it's a amethyst jewel. I don't know why you would have it on the wall, but maybe maybe he was out collecting amethyst or something. So I have that, and then let's put in two other chairs. So then we can put in another like chair here and a chair here, just plain chairs. So over here, we're going to stick in a plant. Okay, that's good. Come on, come on. Is that it? Oh no, one more. There we go. So that looks like a real plant there. And then we're just going to stick in acacia. That shouldn't grow in here, I don't think. I hope it won't grow in here. I've had oak trees grow in the oddest places, so that's why I'm not 100% confident that it won't. And over here, I'm going to put a mushroom for no particular reason at all. So there's a little home office because every home needs an office. So that takes care of that. So now we have the upstairs, but I think what I'm going to do is leave that for the next episode. We're going to make this a shorter episode so you can get off to your day and enjoy yourself and have fun. So please go have fun. Thanks for watching and I will see you later when we work on the attic, which should finish up at least the mansion. So we'll put in the dormers, the two attic rooms, and then we'll be complete with our mansion.